All right, this next exercise will help both of you with listening. One of you will speak while the other really just listens. Would someone like to go first? Me. I had this crazy dream. Do we have to do dreams? I was in this fancy restaurant having lunch and the waitress brought over my entree. It was a salad. It was Lloyd's head on a plate of spinach with his penis sticking out of his ear. And I said, I didn't order this. And she said, you must try it. It's a delicacy, but don't eat the penis. It's just garnish. <laughs> Lloyd, what do you think about the dream? I want her to stop telling that dinner party to all of our friends. Dreams are supposed to be private, don't you think? I'm not here to judge or take sides. I will say, communication is healthy. Mm-hmm. Healthy? Telling people she dreams about me being castrated four times is healthy. Are there any sexual problems in the match? Well, um, we haven't had sex in quite a while. And before that, it wasn't all of that. Well, um, what's the word? Noteworthy. By our 12th anniversary, we had gotten to a pretty stale routine. A couple of kisses, a couple of little nipple twists, and it'll all be over in the same amount of time it takes to make a cappuccino. And I know, because I timed it once. It's no wonder I had an affair. Why can you say that so casually, as if you're asking for a glass of water? Actually, can I have a glass of water? <clears throat> oh. How about you order some oral sex too? I'll go wait in the car. Oh. Lloyd, how do you feel about Caroline's affair? He just wants me to wear a big red A on my chest and go sleep in the basement. Is that so reasonable? Everything is just so black and white with him, you know? He doesn't see where he's responsible. And you know, it just doesn't mean anything to me. So in that case, it really shouldn't even be counted as an affair. Doc, Doc, we need a ruling on this. Well then, let me ask you something. What do you want from the marriage now? I just want to stop talking about it. Look, the truth is, I want nothing. I have everything that I need. I'm actually quite a content person. Oh, what a liar. You are so unhappy, you can hardly breathe. And I feel it in every gesture, in every silence. And you want to know what? I'm miserable. How can we both be into a marriage where I'm miserable and he's content? I don't know, love. So Caroline, what do you want from the marriage? <laughs> oh, this should be good. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Because you don't know what you want and you blame everybody else for it. She's impossible to satisfy. She lives in her fantasies. Let's really try to understand Caroline's miserable life. She lives in a beautiful home. Which his mother owns. I have a successful business. Which his mother owns. We are in servitude to his mother for a loan that she is charging us 18% interest on. We personally own nothing. We took out a loan. We have to pay it back. Oh, no, 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 no. You took out a loan. I mean, it was your decision, not mine. You took out a loan from Satan's mom. You see? You see what she does? She blames my mother for everything that's wrong with her life. Yet, in the meantime, she doesn't finish anything that she starts. Photography courses, existential philosophy courses, Scandinavian cooking classes. Well, at least I go after my dream. To do what? Somebody that takes photographs of lotfish to prove that nothingness of being? <laughs> no one else is so confused. You see, he blames me for Jesse. Is that right? I'm not here to judge or take sides. Oh, well what the hell good are you? You, you have suffocated his limitations. Our son is a very creative, Juvenile. sensitive boy that can- Delinquent. Boy that has the kind of imagination that can- That run the run mafia run. gives scholarships to. In ninth grade, we told him to get a part-time job. Are you ready for what he did? He started an escort service with the football team and gave them my mother's phone number, his grandmother. And I still think that getting laid by an 18-year-old linebacker is just what she needs. You done took this to... Please, lower your voices. Fuck you. you! No, don't fuck me. Fuck a you and fuck a you.